Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to SSH into your EC2 instance. To SSH into your EC2 instance, you need a key pair, which you are going to attach to your EC2 instance when you launch it. And you also need a security group attached to your EC2 instance that has SSH access. So to start, click on EC2 on your management console. On the left side, select key pairs. Click create key pair and let's give our key pair a name. I'll call it EC2 key pair. And since we are going to be using PuTTY to SSH into our EC2 instance, make sure you select the PPK file format and click create key pair. And once you click create key pair, it is going to download the key pair to your downloads folder. And I can right click show in folder and you can see the file in my downloads folder. That's the first step. The second step is we need to create a security group that has SSH port open. In the EC2 service on your management console, click security group and create, create security group. Security group name, I'll call it EC2 SG. And I'll also give it a description. And under the rule, we can add a rule. The first is the SSH rule on port 22. For best practice, you always want to limit the IP address range, which means the machine that can remote into your EC2 instance to your IP address. But for this example, I'll leave it at dot zero and we'll add another rule. And this is going to be HTTP. And also I would be at the dot zero from anywhere. We can also add one more rule, which is HTTPS. I always add these three rules by default and i will leave that to anywhere in the world and come down and click create security group so we've created a key pair and a security group that has ssh access on port 22. now we need to launch our ec2 instance click ec2 running instance and i'm going to select launch instance um, we'll select amazon linux ami um, configure instance we'll click next and here we can leave everything as default and click next click next and we'll click next under the tag and on the security group page select an existing security group and select the security group you create click next to review and launch launch and on that is choose an existing key pair select the key pair we create acknowledge that and launch instance and our institute instance is running so we have everything we need to do in our management console. The next thing we need to do is download PuTTY. So open Google and type in PuTTY and it should bring you to this page. Select this link and it should bring you to this page. Select download it here and it should bring you to this download page. If you want to download the entire package, which is these are all the apps that comes with PuTTY. You can download either the 32 or the 64 bit based on which one you want here. But if you want to download just the individual body apps, you can also download the individual app by clicking their downloads here. For this example, since we are only learning how to SSH into our EC2 instance, we only need this body, the body app just to SSH into our EC2 instance. So to download just that individual app, I will select the 64 bit because that's the one I want. I'll select that here. And you can see is it has downloaded that app to my downloads folder. And once it is done downloading, click it and it would open this. And that's all you need to do to download PuTTY. So just click this to download it, click it and it should open this page and we can use this to SSH into our EC2 instance. So I'll close my PuTTY page and come back to my EC2 instance, I'll refresh and select that. And I have the public IP address for my EC2 instance so I can SSH into it now. So again, open PuTTY, all right? So it should give you this. Let's copy this public IP address. We'll copy that. And on your PuTTY page, come to the SSH on the left side, select the drop down for SSH. Select the auth, not the drop down for the auth, but the auth itself. Select it, browse, and select your key pair, your PPK key pair. Open, 
and I would put it in there. And on that appearance, you can change your font here if you need to change the font to something bigger. So I'll change it. And on that session, so come back up to session. You are going to type ec2 iPhone user at, then you will paste this public IP address we copied there and click open. And it's going to bring up this. Just select yes. Now you are in your EC2 instance and you can run any command on your EC2 instance. Thank you guys. That is how you SSH into your EC2 instance. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.